Hello everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can insert error bars into your chart in Microsoft Excel. Right over here, you can see we have two groups with some random data placed into it. First and foremost, we have to calculate the average for these two groups and we can simply do it by is equal average bracket start number bracket close enter and this is the average of group one now simply hold this green square and drag it to the right to copy the formula into group two to calculate its average as well so we have calculated the average of both the groups and in order to calculate the standard deviation we can again start with is equal standard deviation tab value one this is going to be our value close the bracket enter and there we have our standard deviation for group one drag it to the right to calculate for the second group as well let's highlight both the values go to insert tab and here in the chart sections insert 2d bar chart next we can go to chart design and in the add chart elements you can go to error bars and right at the bottom we have more error bars options and right into error bar options you can see we can change the visual appearance of the error bar as well as the direction which i'm not going to do in this particular example let's come down to this error amount here you can see we have fixed value percentage standard deviation standard error and custom right at the bottom choose this custom option specify value and positive error value choose this click on this up arrow and choose the standard deviations press enter and again in the negative error value click on up arrow and again choose the same values in the same order enter now click on ok and there we are you can see error bars have been added to our chart and you can clearly see the error in the second case is higher than in first case and we can also see right from this standard deviation as well standard deviation in the second case is 20 while in the first case it's about 8 and that's it for today's video i hope you have found this tutorial useful please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching